Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft 1.16 Let's Play. So in the last episode we worked on this house here behind me and in today's episode I plan on working on the storage area which is going to be this lower half right here. So we're going to dig it out and um, make a big room and it'll be used for storage. So yeah also after that we're going to be putting some finishing touches on the house you know like lighting it up just making all this look a little bit better so i don't really know how big i want this room to be i'm just gonna kind of dig out some space and then we will go from there okay so this clip that you're seeing right now is a recording of a recording of the replay mod i finally got it to load up but i still can't get it to work quite quite right so i can't figure out how to work it and it's not that um i don't know how i've been watching tutorial after tutorial i was on their website in their help center and it just is not working for me i can't use the editing part and I don't know if I need to press a special button to get it to work. And if so, it's not in any of the tutorials or on the help thingy. So you're watching a recording of a recording right now. I just recorded myself moving the camera and all that kind of stuff. And I guess that's just how it's going to have to work until I can figure out how to actually work it. Okay, so to continue my question from the last episode. I'm just trying to get some emeralds so I can get mending for my shovel. Um, now his iron trade is back to normal. And I haven't had the chance to research yet because I'm recording this right after. I do I don't get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some research right after I record this clip. Oh, apparently it's because I'm trading it with him. It's because I'm trading it with him and nothing else. I haven't traded anything else with him. So that's why this was increasing. That still doesn't make much sense to me, but that's what the wiki pretty much said, so... Oh well, at least I have iron coming out of my ears. So I have done the majority of the place down here. Um... I think I'm going to do kind of like upstairs, I'm going to do the walls and stone bricks, I'm going to do this outside wall with the terracotta, the floor, and the ceiling. The ceiling is going to be stone bricks, the floor is going to be spruce planks, just like upstairs. Um, and then I think I'm going to put bookshelves here, I think that would be a nice touch. But each wall is six blocks, so we can fit a lot of chests in here. So. We'll get a lot of storage in here, and I think I'm going to stream myself getting organized. Okay, so this next clip is going to be, the audio is going to be a little shoddy. Um, I realize that you can hear my fan in the background because my fan is on full blast. So I wanted to warn you about that. Also, um, it's 102 degrees here. Please send help. Okay, so I am beyond confused right now. So I came over here to trade some emeralds to get some bookshelves for that area downstairs. And I noticed when I came over here there was some iron and um, some poppies on the ground here. But I was like, oh, they spawned an iron golem, but like, why did the golem die? So I'm like looking around for more golems, right? And I noticed that my iron guy and this guy are gone. But all of my other guys are here. So, this guy was, I can't remember which trade he had. But my mending guy is here, my silk touch, looting, infinity. I can't remember what trade this guy had. Unbreaking, that's it. Um, so the only thing that I can think of that happened, because I don't think zombies can get into them when their workstations are in front of them like that, I think there was a pillager patrol that killed them. Alright, so I just finished a live stream where I fixed my villagers. <laughs> I still don't have my unbreaking guy. I think that's going to take a while for me to get again, um, but I, I got my 
armorer back. I got an efficiency five villager. And then, you know, all these guys were here. And then I also added a mason and a toolsmith. So, of course, the most important thing that we did on the live stream was we got organized. As you probably noticed out there, there are some chests missing. That's because they're all in here now. So there are 12 chests on each wall for a total of 24 chests. And um, I just have, like, wood, stone... Andesite, diorite, granite, dirt, sand, glass, terracotta, concrete, which I don't have any concrete yet, but it's nice to have a chest for it. Wool, miscellaneous, like, tools, obsidian I put in here, because I don't, I don't know where to put that, but I want to get an ender chest soon, because I'm having some inventory problems. It would be so nice to have, you know, somewhere else to put my stuff. <laughs> uh, redstone stuff, I'm putting rails in there. Farming, saplings, seeds, carrots, potatoes, stuff like that. Mob drops, food, dyes and flowers, lighting and details. I'm putting the clock in here. Because why not? Lanterns, workstations and villager trades. I just have bells in there and then another chest. And then here in the middle, this is where I just put a whole bunch of random stuff that I had in my inventory and I didn't know where to put it yet. It'll probably all end up in the miscellaneous chest up there. But here in the middle, I just have a crafting table, a furnace, a stone cutter, and an anvil. And then there are those bookshelves. I think that's a really, really nice detail. I think that's so good. So we have to figure out now the outside details of the house. Um, lighting and doors and stuff and that might take me a little bit to figure out what's what looks good here so by details I mean you know putting lighting and stuff like that does that look I don't know that I like that very much at all so let's not do that We might be able to get away with that down here though, since it's a block taller than the outside. I think that's fine. And it's like behind the wood post, but that's okay because all that really matters is that it's lit up. I don't really care. Um, and then we're going to do some work on the inside as well. Um, but out here, as far as lighting goes... I don't really know what to do. I might put, you know what, I could put like bushes down. I could put bushes down and hide like glowstone or shroom light under there. I think that might be better. And now as far as this goes, I'm just going to, no, not there. I'm, I think I'm going to just... I don't hate it. It's not terrible. Um, as long as there's lighting here, I don't care. And then along this back area, I might do the same thing. I might put like planter boxes down here. And, huh, that's not really gonna work back here, is it? Putting like bushes. Um, let's do this. Let's take out these corners and put lanterns. Let's just see how this looks. I don't hate that. And it's in the back, so it doesn't really matter that it looks great. I don't hate it. Okay, let's leave it at that. That's good. Oh, it's becoming night. Maybe we can see how good that lights everything up. Alright, I think it's lit up pretty nice. I might add some light up there, you know, just like hide a lantern or a piece of glowstone up there. Because that's a little bit dark. And then right here in this peak is a little bit dark too, but I don't want to hang a lantern from the front right there. Like, would that look... Would that look okay? 
Maybe that could be our lighting out here. Let's find out. Ah! If we just get up here. Lantern. Okay, it's not in front of the glass. That's what I was kind of worried about there. So let's... Yeah, I don't hate that. That can, that can be there. I don't hate it. But I'm I'm still gonna put bushes down here because it's dark down here. Um, this looks okay. It's well lit. Wow, lag spike. This looks okay. And now, oh, it's dark in here. Now the only other place to look at is down here, which it's it's dark at the front right here. So we'll do something about that. But yeah, everything's lit up. And all we have to worry about is this front area. Okay, so I just came back from the nether and I got some glowstone. And then I went across the way there where I knew that I had some leaves over by the iron farm. So I just grabbed that. And now we are going to landscape this area a little bit. Get rid of some of these holes. And just make it look a little bit more cabiny. So let's, let's do that. In my live stream, if you watched it, I was talking about what I wanted to do with villagers. So I was thinking eventually, when I first saw this place, I just saw cabins, you know, like lining the mountains on both mountains. And I think I might want to do something like that. I was thinking, like with the villagers, I was like, oh my goodness, you know, 10 of each type of villager. And I know that that's a lot, so I think that we could do like a whole cabin neighborhood area. I think that could be kind of cool with all the villagers. It'll be a lot though. I don't think 10 of each villager is gonna be what we're doing, but uh, I, I do have like a thought. Each different cabin has a different type of villager in it instead of just having like a big old trading hall where they're all lined up you know i think we might do the cabin type thing i think what is going on with my camera right now i'm not touching the mouse or the keyboard there we go what the heck was that <laughs> okay anyway i'm gonna continue landscaping putting in lighting and bushes and stuff
if that time lapse taught me anything, it's that I need to do some more lighting up down here. I need to do some more terraforming, cutting away the stone, adding in dirt. I was just thinking about adding a waterfall maybe here where, you know, we put water here and it just falls. Um, I'm not really sure though. We'll worry about that later. But right now I want to worry about the inside. So, I was thinking about where should I put my bed area, and I don't know if I want to put it up the ladder, or if I want to put it um, down in that main area. This is kind of dark in here, isn't it? I put all my lighting away already. I'll come back. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I want to put my bed up, or if I want to leave it down here. I think I'm going to end up putting it up on the second level though so let's go ahead and grab that and this is a good time for me to touch on some data packs that I have so no oh you're kidding me <laughs> Okay, now that, now that I'm back, <laughs> that had me shook. What happened? I tried to put a torch there. Thank you. Um, I don't know where it came from. Anyway, now is going to be a good time for me to talk about the data packs that I have installed. So I decided to download some data packs. I knew from the beginning that I wanted to use some, but one of the ones that I got was universal dyeing so that I could dye dyeable blocks so like when you shear a sheep and you get like gray wool in vanilla minecraft you can't re-dye it whatever color you want but with that data pack you can and it's the same for concrete and terracotta and all those other types of blocks so you can re-dye blocks and I found that on VanillaTweaks.net from Azuma, so I will have that linked in the description as well. A couple others that I got were unpackable nether wart. So now with these nether wart blocks, I can unpack them into nether wart, which you cannot do in vanilla. And I also downloaded the double shulker share one, so when we go to the end, we get double shulker shells. And I only did that because having odd numbers of shulker shells drives me insane. So, yeah, we'll get to see that in action when we get to the end. Alright, so this is what I have for the inside for right now. I just have, like, a little stone bench facing the fire, and then back here, just put upside down stairs and a cauldron, um, because once I get my brewing stand, that'll probably go in the corner here, and then just a crafting table here, um, there's not really much space for me to do a whole lot in here, which is fine, because I'm not going to be in here all the time. I'm going to be in here to get into my chest and to sleep, so I don't really care about functionality or how it looks. But, um, yeah, I just wanted something in here so that it wasn't just an empty space. But with all of the outside details being done, all of the lighting, this terraforming, and then the details that we put inside being done, I think that marks the end of this episode. So yeah, if you missed last episode, go check that out because you'll get to see me building this house. And if you want to watch me get organized, then you can watch my live stream at twitch.tv slash faint underscore object. The VODs should still be there. Um, and yeah. I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Bye!